and welcome back to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl kia p aka kia the crafter today what we are going to do is make us a resin purse yes the clutch bag i enjoyed making my first one so much that i am back to make another one yes these are one of the most rewarding projects that i literally have made i love it i love it so today i'm gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna pour our part a I am using my America's Best resin. This is um, a, it's called the Clear Flow, and I have used this with a few projects. And I must say, I do not care for this particular one. Um, I like the Premium Epoxy Heart uh, set versus the Clear Flow, so I will not be purchasing this gallon set again but we are not going to race waste any resin we are going to go ahead and use it <clears throat> but guys i do not like this one so if you purchase america's best because it, it is one of the most affordable epoxy resin kits for those of us that do big projects or you know have a business it is the most affordable and it is a really good product, but I just don't like this particular epoxy set. Um, I thought I, I guess I figured I would try it um, to see. And I, I, I'm not too fond of it. The part A is really, really thick. Um, if you like it, like uh, your part A to be thick, um, then this is definitely <clears throat> one of your uh possible go-tos but it's a little bit thick for me and yeah but my projects have came out pretty good thus far so i'm not a totally disappointed but i just won't be purchasing this one because i don't like the consistency of it <clears throat> and I'm gonna wipe that out right away because if you go ahead and clean them out right away they tend to get stay get be easier to keep your area clean and <clears throat> when you get that overall clean at the end you don't have that much to clean up And, um, yeah, I'm having a time with my little gloves because they too big for my little hands. But, again, we're not wasting any materials. We'll use these until <clears throat> I can get some that fit a little bit better. But, nevertheless, we're moving on. So, this is the Part B. And I want to say even the Part B is thicker than... The part B on their premium. So I like the product, the premium. This is my first time using this particular one. And yeah. Let me just make sure we get everything out of the cups because <clears throat> everything was measured. We want to get as much of it as possible out of the cup. Just a little bit right there. Okay. And the coffee's ticking, so I'm only going to wipe this down a little bit. And I pour the a hardener second because it's thinner. And so you can kind of just wipe it really quick. <clears throat> so you don't have that mess and set that cup to the side and then get to mix it nice and slow. Just 
do a swipe in the sides. And this particular bag is going to be, I want to do a white and gold. A white and gold. The higher wear is gold. Um, white, clear and gold maybe. Um, just depends on, again, how the resin <clears throat> sits up on its own. It You can pour it and come back and it's a totally different design than what it was when you poured it because it expands as it cures and so i'm gonna do a two color um acrylic color with the white and then a mica powder with the gold and then um the clear will just be clear. And it's clearing up. And you can see the bubbles coming out. This has a lot more bubbles than the other one. And again, I'm moving a little bit faster. <clears throat> and so I picked out this gold, but I like this one. It's more the one I'm going to go with. So that will be the gold that I'm going to use white and the acrylic and then i have my gold glitter and gold foil that i'm going to add to it so <clears throat> now at this point what i'm going to do is stir up a little bit i'm gonna pour a little bit in this cup that'll be for my white One. That'll be my gold. And then I'm going to leave some clear <coughs> in here. So switch these out. One, we'll do the white. I'm just going to put a couple little drops in there. Stir it. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Thank you so much for all the people who have subscribed to my Click Kids Click. Thank you so much for being part of my crafting click. We are like so bomb. You guys are so bomb. I learned so much from watching YouTube and... um even TikTok now, like, it's ridiculous. And, um, yeah, I hope I can inspire someone to start creating, um, you know, for yourself. I do this as a business, a little side business. I sell my resin projects. Um, so, if it's something that you like and you want me to make it for you, you can contact me. I will leave my Instagram and my Facebook contact. We are still um, in the process of launching a website. So we want to make sure everything is, is great. 
and running smoothly with that before we get the store up and running but yeah please subscribe to the channel i just want to be here um to again inspire someone to get crafting create something for somebody if they like um just yeah learn teach whatever i just enjoy being here and hope that i can continue being here so again i take donations if you want to donate to the channel donate to the crafting supplies um to kind of keep me going if you like the projects and what i'm doing comment i love to hear some feedback i'm just putting a dab of this gold uh mica powder in there i'm gonna put just a little bit because i wanted that gold to really pop um in there and you just kind of want to fold it fold it fold it in because it will shoot back at you and that's going to be pretty. And I'm not going to stir too much because I kind of want that little marbleized look with that, with that gold. But that's pretty. Okay, so back to what we doing. So we got my white, I got my gold, and I'm just cleaning up um, any debris that's left over from this little purple speck that wants to stay stuck with me. So I'm going to get a little wipe, wipe him up out of there, because this white will catch anything that is in here. And we want to make sure that it's neat, pretty, ready to go. I'm super excited. Yeah, I love creating functional pieces and, and information that is helpful. Okay, so I'm going to take these sticks out. Take this one out. Take this one out. I hope this is enough. And I poured 10 ounces, so it should be. And so I'm just going to pour it. No particular... Maybe so. I'm trying to again create some type of pattern, but like I have told you, resin is going to do what resin does. So I could do my best, but. It's not guaranteed it's going to come out ooh, ooh, the way that you want it to. It's just how it goes. It flows how it wants. It does what it wants. Okay, let's try to put some of this gold in here. And again, it's going to do what it's going to do.
pretty much the gold. I need to get rid of the rest of this last little bit and then I'm going to come with this clear. And in the clear, what I'm going to do... <coughs> Scrape out this white because that's quite a bit that's left. I'm gonna put right here on the screen and I'm make that a little bit darker. Sharing this mix room. Okay. Now with this clear, and again, it's not gonna take much, but we gonna we gonna use it. We gonna throw some glitter in here. And it's like a copper glitter and some flakes and. Spruce it up. And again, don't be afraid. You might get a little messy, but it's okay. That's what we do. Okay, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but we gon' we're gonna try to put it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring it down into a smaller container. So we can control it. I still got a lot left in there, but...
again. It's going to, it's going to do its thing. We're still trying to get it up here. Some of those striations in there. And this one is almost full, so. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Very pretty. Just a little bit in this corner. But And so we are we are pleased with how this came out so far and we're gonna let this do what it do and I will see you back in a minute okay all right guys we are back with our resin clutch bag y'all I think that's gonna be pretty I want y'all to get a real good close look at that that is so gorgeous it looks marbleized, super pretty. It's got gold flakes in it. Um, some areas is kind of see-through, so we're gonna um, <clears throat> demold it now. Get it on out of here and get it ready to be put together. Thank you guys again so much for watching and subscribing and supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys. Y'all make this so fun. So fun. Okay. Now, I have put, and it's still wet, so I got to, um, I got to do something about this. Okay, so, this is kind of what happens when you drop alcohol inks in your project and don't like mix it up in the resin it falls to the bottom and it don't um dry so before i can finish it i'm gonna have to let that dry and see all the areas where it has um where it's still wet so I know they're for sure and look like maybe maybe up and through there and so yeah it's still kind of sticky so I'm gonna have to figure out a quick fix for that 
real quick but it's still beautiful that is so pretty that's gonna be a pretty a pretty 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 bag so let's get this other one out and we probably have the same okay so what we could do is put some resin uv resin over those little areas and that'll cure it yeah because see this one did the same thing but it is super pretty super pretty it did the same thing a couple little spots on there that um like i said i had dropped some gold if you see it i dropped some gold in there and i tried to um kind of even it out but it floated to the bottom and that works to your benefit if you know how to mix it to where it'll fall just right it is people who know how to um mix really really well and know how to do the the um technique but that that came out gorgeous that's that's pretty that's pretty so give me a second while i fix it give me one second okay so what i did was i poured a little thin layer of clear resin in here to seal up any other places the gold wasn't cured at where the gold was kind of not cured so it just give it that a, a nice clean gloss and resin levels itself out so all i did was pour a little bit in here and i'm spreading it with my little spatula here and that's how i'm gonna fix that little problem and issue that i had so you get also a bonus you get to see how to repair any um when you you know have mistakes like this you have to really mix those colors but again i just dropped it in here because I've seen people do that, but for some reason, I guess because maybe it's an opaque, um, kind of made it um, float to the bottom. And so, and that's that's how you repair that. So we're gonna sit here and let this cure, and then I'll come back and put it together. Sit tight. All right, guys, we are back um, to complete the purse here. And so remember yesterday, I had to let it let it get hard, was um, I layered just a small thin layer of epoxy in there and let that cure, and we are good to go. Everything is nice and cured, so moving on. So the next thing we are going to do is assemble our um, hardware. And so this is the, the uh, hardware that we got. And I will leave the link below where I purchased it. This is the hardware, some gold. And so now what we're gonna do is attach our plastic shields in first. So I've already pre-cut two um, pieces of plastic here that I bought on a roll. Um, and these are four by, I want to say four by six sheets. You can do as, as wide as you want, but this is what I had to break the piece in half. And I just evened it up and this is what we have. So I know I have to cut this in a V, but not to where it's a pointed V. So... What I'm gonna do is grab my ruler and I'm going to measure this out to where it's coming to a V, but it's more of a cutoff V, if that makes sense. Because right at the bottom, it has to have a square edge. So, and I want to be able to use the width as wide as I can. So I'm going to start from this corner and I'm going to bring it closer 
on this end so you guys can see what I'm doing. So this, I want it the width way, the longest way. So it'll fold in and out like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mesh, my uh, protractor or ruler, whatever you have. I have rulers, I just grab this first. And I'm gonna start from this outer corner and it's already showing me a nice cutoff right there. But I'm gonna lean it in just a little bit. And I'm gonna mark that. That's what I'm gonna cut. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna come back and do the same. And they have like a little plastic coating on them, so. But I wanna use the far end. The far end corner. Scoop my protractor down, everything. Yep, it should line up pretty good. And mark it. So I'll know where to cut. And this is my template. You can see. So if I have to size it down, I can. But we'll start with this. And I'm just going to line them up as best as I can, hold them tight, and cut. Because it's going to be taped behind in the grooves, this, these ends. So try to cut them as neat as you can, but they don't have to be perfect. And you end up with something like that. <clears throat> One for each end. And I marked it before I took the plastic off. So that's the plastic sheet. And it's one on the front, one on the back. And I like this because it's kind of like it's transparent, but it's iridescent. So that's pretty cool. Trying to keep all my little and they sticky. Like they, you have to really, they got a lot of static in them. I'm trying to save it so it will stay unscratched and unscathed. Okay, so next what we're going to do is, and I should have did this before I took the tape off, the paper off. But we're going to measure how much we need of tape. So we need about right here, and I'm going to cut that. and tape to the side this is gonna it's wide so you can cut this down the middle and it, it's gonna work and give you enough and that'll be enough for one whole part so split this in half unless you have some thinner double-sided tape that's already I don't even know this is about a half this is about a fourth of an inch wide so I'm cutting it even smaller than that <clears throat> and so this is going to go fold it in like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crease this in. And that's going to kind of make it easier to fold that down into the purse. I come and place my tape right along that groove I just made from the fold. Now I didn't go all the way down so I'm gonna because I want that to be no, no openings all the way closed. <coughs> like so. Peel the backing off course trying to keep it as clean as possible come in and I just place it try to line it up away from where to make sure go back to that fold
because once you place it in there and press it down, you just want to make sure you can pull it, pull it around. Okay, it's in there. And press it. Then I'm going to take my popsicle stick and press. <clears throat> Take it around the other way, and we're going to do the same thing here. Press it in, and that's going to give us our protective thing, uh, shield to keep your belongings in the purse so they don't fall out. And when you open it, it opens all the way up into, you know, just all your stuff fall out. So we want to make sure we... This has this is acts as a stopper and a protector, protecting your goods and stopping your purse from opening all the way up. So it is always good to have <clears throat> this protective sheet in here. I know um, I've watched people, um, well, not a few, but some people do it without it, and I just wouldn't suggest. So I'm just gonna do a little small. Super sticky. I'm going to take this back off and we're going to put this other side in. The very first one I struggled. So this one, not so much. Like I told you, on the very first one, the first one is always your test piece. You want to get it as perfect as possible because you don't want to waste the project. But be prepared for any imperfections. Be prepared for any imperfections. <coughs> so there we have it. It's opening on one side. It stops it. Stops it. Protects all your belongings from coming out. Everything is nice and secured in there. And yeah, I like it. Nothing is going to get out. Now, what I could do is take, because <clears throat> it's gathered, it's kind of gathered here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to poke that out that way. And then when it opens, it's gathered towards the inside and it don't look and it's even more protection versus it's coming inside. That's so dope. Okay, let's put the other side in. <clears throat> now see that side we got we know we can take a little bit off the end. I'm gonna take a little bit off the end here. <clears throat> and I need to trace this on a piece of paper so that I'll have a template. Matter of fact, I can do it right here on this napkin. I don't have a template to go by for the next one. See how that works? I'm just going to trace it. I'll make a template later. <coughs> But yeah, here we go. Same process. Same thing. Split it up the middle. It's, it's just sticky, so you want to kind of be careful making sure that you don't scissor your fingers or your nails. So, let me do the side. I'm going to cut this one a little bit longer because I wanted to make sure I had enough. 
I'm gonna cut off the little excess right there. <coughs> Roll that back in, place her in there. Now I'm gonna find if I place her against the wall. That is not gonna stick to, I can kind of gauge it a little bit. I want it to go, yep, to wash right up in there. So right, right there. Put it up on the thing. And once you get it in there, press. There you have it. We got two sides. That's ready to go. Okay. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do. Let's get ready to pop the sides in. So what I'm I'm gonna use E6000. I know people use um, resin. I'm gonna use E6000. That's what I have. Worked perfectly well for the other one. It holds pretty good. I'm just gonna start with a small little layer. Once the once the bead get going, it'll thin out. coming from behind the plastic. All right, we got a pretty decent amount in there. <coughs> Goes at the top. I'm just gonna pop it down up in there in the grooves. thing for this side.
Okay. And now we're gonna pop this other side in. <coughs> She is beautiful. I gotta make sure everything is stay together. But she is cute. I gotta get this glue off of her. But that's pretty much it. And we're gonna let that um, kind of gel together. Do what it needs to do. And I'll come back. <clears throat> with a finished product. I'm going to put some embezzlements around it like so just to give it a little pop of bling and I'm going to just take it around the ends and I'll show you the finished product. So sit tight. Alright guys there is the finished product. She is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Please follow us on Instagram Facebook at Power Projects underscore CEO. Continue to subscribe, watch, and like our videos on YouTube so we can get our channels up. I just want to show you the inside of her. She is super gorgeous. Yeah, that was, I had it right. That's the inside. Super pretty. She is gorgeous. Very pretty. Please hit the notification bells, guys, so you can have updates when we post new videos, new projects. I got some new things coming. And make sure that you continue to be good to yourself and others. We love you. Thank you for your support. If you want to donate to the channel to help with materials and supplies, I will leave a link below along with the materials we use for this project. Thank you for watching us and coming to Craft with Kia today, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.